Okay. So this morning, on my way to work, I was almost assaulted by a Trump supporter. I was walking to work and I saw a man probably in his early 60s and he was selling um, Trump pins and buttons and I look at the man and I look at the pins again and my instinct was to roll my eyes and then when I turn back at the guy he looks at me and says what and then makes a fist like he's gonna punch me my instinct was to to laugh I laughed and I looked around to see if anyone else saw what just happened and there was a police officer there was a white male police officer standing right next to me who did nothing he just stood there he just looked at me and then looked away I came to work and I was in such disbelief of what had just happened I never thought that it would happen here in New York I thought I was safe being in New York being a Latina woman in New York I thought I was safe but I guess I'm not <laughs> these tears aren't tears of fear these are tears of anger and frustration and the hardest thing about this is that I don't know if this man will be there tomorrow I don't know if he'll be there next week next month this nation is more divided than ever and most of us are being blinded by racism and hate and anger and ignorance don't let that don't let that cover your eyes open your eyes open your brain racism comes from fear of the unknown to my Muslim friends to my african-american friends to my latino community to the LGBTQ community we are in this together make someone feel safe remind them that they're not alone if this could happen here in New York City I don't even want to imagine what's going on in other states please be safe be strong. <laughs> and I love you guys. The single most common question I get asked is, are you a boy or are you a girl? The simple answer is no. But then the response after that is usually a very confused, what? So here is the explanation. I am non-binary, and that means I identify as something other than male or female. Our society and history has led us to believe over thousands of years that there are only people who are male and people who are female. But that is because past society has based gender on physical sex. It's outdated. The truth is that gender is in the brain, and physical sex is a completely separate and different thing that is private to every individual. What people really mean when they're asking the boy or girl question is creepily, So, what genitals do you have? People need to realize it doesn't matter what living meat skeleton you've been born in, it's what you feel that defines you. Non-binary is a blanket term for anyone who identifies out with the binary gender. There are endless ways of being non-binary and no two people identify in the same way. So just remember, gender is what you feel, not what your parts are. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Bye guys. What the fuck? Tamir Rice could've been my brother. That could've been my brother laid out on the street. A 13-year-old, a 13-year-old, Trayvon Martin was walking down the street with his hood on. Are you saying that I can't walk down the street in my own neighborhood without worrying about my safety? Mm -hmm. The people who are supposed to protect me are killing me every day. And I'm not saying that police officers are bad. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I'm anti-cop because that's not what it means. What it means is Black Lives Matter too. But people seem to forget that the two is on there. We're not saying that white lives don't matter. We're not saying that police officers' lives don't matter. We are, we are not saying that Hispanic lives don't matter. We aren't saying that Middle Eastern lives don't matter. We are saying that there's a problem in this country with people caring about black people. Since the beginning of time, you brought us over. You stole us from our home. You forced us into slavery. You forced us to do work. You packed us into ships like sardines and made us live in our feces and our period. And we got to disease and you throw us overboard like we were nothing and then you decided no to have segregation because you thought well I don't know what they're so upset about and then you had segregation my grandparents picked cotton 
in a field. My grandparents, my grandparents lived in South Carolina and picked cotton in a field. My mother rode the bus in the 70s during integration and got spit on and called a nigger. And you think that we're just gonna sit here and keep letting this happen to us? That's stupid. I will not, I will not. People ask me, why do I wanna be a lawyer? This is why. You cannot allow this to happen. You cannot value someone else's life and society over someone else's. It's a problem. And if you can't see it's a problem, then you're oblivious to it. <sighs> Die, cis, scum. So for those of you who've been living under a privileged rock your entire life and don't know what cis means, it's short for cisgender, which means that a long time ago, a doctor took five seconds to look at your baby genitals and say, you are going to be this person. And by some astronomical coincidence, you grew up and said, meh. And you know what? That's fine and dandy for some people, but for the rest of us, we're not entirely happy with what's on our birth certificates. Construction of this scale is dedicated to all of the women whose lives have been ruined and ruled by it. This is for us, ladies. Safety first. Oops. I'm tired of you stealing my life. I'm tired of you making me feel if I'm good or bad. I'm tired of you deciding how my day is. No more of you deciding my life. No more of you stealing life from me. This is theft. I take back my life. I'm in control. I decide if I'm good or bad. Not you. I deserve a great life. This is about me. This isn't about you. Oh my God. That's like better than sex. You know what America thrives off of? Capitalism. We yeah. use our motherfucking, fucking black and brown bodies to live and survive while white people own fucking properties after that. Yeah, there are poor white people, right? But black and brown people are affected by all of the shit around us. And capitalism is one of them. So you know what we need to do? We need to start giving fucking money. White people, Give your fucking money, your fucking house, your fucking property. We need it fucking all. Uh, you need to reparate black and indigenous people right now. Pay the fuck up. Pay the fuck up. Pay. It ain't just your fucking time. It's your fucking money. And your fucking life is now devoted to social change. Right? Yeah. We're all operating under white supremacy. Just so you know. <laughs> and we need to start killing people. First off, we need to start killing the White House. The White House must die. The White House, your fucking White House, your fucking president, they must go. Fuck the White House. Capitalism is what we, it's fucking racism. You know? Y'all yeah, still got shit to dismantle. Whether it's your motherfucking patriarchy, your motherfucking anti blackness, anti fairness, anti transphobic, Woo! not recognizing that black and brown trans queer women and femmes and non binary people have motherfucking led the fucking way. So oh, kiss yeah! their motherfucking feet. And give them your fucking money. We need to kill all men. I am sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just, in the future, subjugate me. So the only answer to that is to kill male babies and um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swinging dick, just kill him. Because... Um, we want the species to go on, 
but we want it only to go on with women in it. So that's what we have to do. That's the only way to keep the human race going is with just women.